Okay, so right now the intake is relatively stock. Uh, this is it here. It's the stock air box. And we have put on our 13 Motorsports resonator deletes and the sound tube delete at the bottom there. And it also has a duct that goes out to the front bumper to draw in fresh air. Uh, the air filter in there is a K&N. And we have removed we have removed the charcoal thing that's in there because that just steals power. Oh look, I found my friends. Wow, there's a lot of wasps in there. One, two, three, flies. That's what happens at TMP. Right? So So that's the air filter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this box and this intake tube with the much, much larger and higher flowing GR version of the intake, which has a massive air box. And we'll still utilize the cold air duct here, but it should give us more horsepower, hopefully more sound, and hopefully faster lap times. So it's really easy to do this intake change. So I'm gonna just point at all the fasteners and I'll let you know what they are and you could do it yourself or you could watch me work really hard and do this. So there is 10 mil here and there is a 10 mil down there on that bracket. Our oil cooler lines are in the way but you should have no problem getting to there. Um, you gotta take the math uh, sensor out completely and swap it over which is these two screws but for now you can just unclip it here. I'll do that after. Um, 10 mil here, 10 mil here, and a little hose clamp to take this off. So I'm gonna just take these parts off really quick and then we'll put them on the bench and we'll do some more detailed stuff to get this out. And then this little clip here, to get this off, you can use a socket sometimes and just push the tabs and it'll come right out. And then these hoses, the clamps are not super on there. If you got good fingers, you can probably just push it off like that. And there's a 10 mil here, or that's it. That's an eight, actually, not a 10. Take this off. <clears throat> and then this whole thing should come out there. And then this will come out here. And now we have full access to this 10 mil right here. So eight mil for this clamp right here. Um, disclaimer, I have not read the instructions whatsoever. So I'm just assuming this is how it goes. Okay, so that's that. And basically the stock part is gonna fit right in there hopefully. Let's just take a look at the math section, at least. So this is quite literally double the size, 10 and 3 quarter inches. And this one is 20 and 3 quarter inches panel size. So it's literally double the size. So that's going to give you a much better um, amount of volume higher surface area on the filter, so as it gets clogged or whatnot, it'll still be able to flow. It'll give you less resistance of the air flowing in. There's also a really nice taper to this part here. So that should keep the airflow smooth and laminar. And saying that, let's compare the full box assembly. So the air is gonna come in from the bumper here, much like this one, and it's gonna be able to flow nice and smoothly through here and use hopefully the whole surface area of the, of the panel filter. So one thing you're missing with this is the little latches that are on this one. They've got to be installed on the other box. And you also have this fancy red coupler with new clamps. So couplers old air box we got to transfer the math into there there's a new panel filter this is the carbon filter that comes in there you can actually just take a little screwdriver and pop this out um, 
it does provide some resistance and this is a track car so we don't need this emissions device on there so we're not going to use that and there's a little rubber dinghy here which i believe correct me if i'm wrong youtubers i believe this is going to go here i could be wrong but we'll see we'll try it on the car and see so these little clips latch the assembly together so you just got to slide them in there pop them up make sure they articulate well pop it up pop it up all four and that's it it's basically assembled so we'll go back outside we'll install this and suck So, math is pretty easy. The, the arrow points the direction of flow. So, towards the throttle body. Don't over tighten the screws. Don't be a savage. Perfect. All right. We're ready. Let's do this. So, earlier, I was struggling to install this because of these tabs at the bottom here that need to lock into the... Uh, bottom of the airbox so i'm gonna try and pre-assemble this outside and then we're gonna see if it fits a little bit easier so i'm gonna put the filter in this section first and then yeah that's way easier you know that's probably what the instructions say to do who reads instructions anyway not me obviously Okay, so now it's together. We're gonna install this this way. Let's get this down here. Put this in here. Put that in there. that in there line that tab up there obviously this needs to be that direction and today I have pliers so we are going to get this little piece in here all the way uh, I think that's all I think that's all as far as it goes <coughs> plug in the math clip this in here clip that in there our little holes clamps, two more screws, one screw for the top, and then that's the little nub where that goes into there. So make sure that's in there like that. Car's too low, it's hurting my back. You see the way this is shaped? So you can put this end there if you're not paying attention, but you see there's that cutout here lines up perfectly with the airbox there, and this cutout lines up perfectly with there. The tube is curved, so I can completely see somebody jamming this on the wrong way but it's gonna end up touching that pulley under there and damaging your very expensive new intake. So make sure that this lip lines up with the airbox. This arrow's pointed that way and that nub is in there. And all these are in. This looks like it doesn't fit in there. Let's, um, let's just make sure that I'm installing this properly. Yeah, so inside that hole there is a little lip, which this is going to seat on. And it seems like that's as far as that goes. 
yeah it doesn't go all the way down so that's that okay okay so installs all done super easy um, we're gonna go take it for a rip and see how this thing sounds that guy to say oh the cars picked up 20 wheel horsepower does it feel a little bit more peppy i don't know i'm not gonna say yes or no I, oh shit i refuse to be that guy but in theory let's just discuss in theory it should improve throttle response it should have a greater power delivery there's lots of stuff online about you know how much horsepower this should make so i think you as the viewer you should do your research and don't just take my opinion for it because i may be slightly biased I'm, i may be you know it's an intake It's not even a whole intake, it's an air box. Actually, I guess it is kind of a whole intake. It does feel a little bit more peppy to me, a little sharper. It feels like it's pulling pretty hard in the top end. Okay, I'm gonna do one more pull uh, in Mexico here. something there there may be a little something there definitely seems to kind of liven up above 65 but I'm not gonna be that guy to try and sell you guys an intake the whole thing about our channel is just being honest very transparent about things and I don't know we would have to literally dyno it back to back in theory it should make more power in theory should make have a little broader power band a little bit more air in the box to help with the tip and throttle so you be the judge if the car was a little quieter <clears throat> i'm sure we would notice some kind of like induction sound change or something but the car is just so loud and there's like two jerry cans in the back and the license plates that I wouldn't even be able to hear the difference anyway unless I was sitting on top of the hood. So, <clears throat> hope you can make your own judgments, figure out what you want to do. I like the product, it makes sense to me. It, it looks like it's a little bit better engineered in terms of just the way how smooth the airflow is. And I mean, that should be, that should be good enough for most people. Okay, so now that we've taken it for a rip, sounds amazing. If you're looking for one of these cool air boxes, they are available on our website. So you can go there, search for GR86 and you'll find one. And if you need replacement parts or anything, we'll also supply those. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to get more content from us.